The pandemic of 2020 hit and we were all pretty much locked down. So I began digging into how to shop on Amazon using my iPad. I figured out how to set up an account and search and buy things and even how to return items I decided I just didn't want. And you know, it turned out to be a lot easier than I thought. You know, whether we like it or not, the world is changing and so is the way we shop. If you'd like to learn how to shop on Amazon using the Amazon app on your iPad, then stick around. This video is for you. Hi, my name is Rich and I make easy to follow videos for seniors and beginners on how to use their iPad and iPhone. If that's something that might interest you, please consider subscribing by tapping the subscribe button. We really are building a great community. You know, I've always been a hands-on guy. I, I actually like to see and hold something before I buy it. But lately I've grown weary of fighting traffic to get to a store. And honestly, anything I can find in a store, I can find on Amazon. And a whole lot more, to be honest. And a lot of the time, at a much better price. I was talking to my 92-year-old mother and she said shopping on Amazon was just too confusing and maybe you think the same thing. But I thought I'd make this video to at least show you what's possible and a few tips on how to navigate the app. So today I'm going to show you how to download and install the Amazon app, how to set up an Amazon account, how to search for stuff you might want to buy, how to place an order, how to cancel an order, and how to return something you bought but you just decided you didn't want. Let's get started. The first thing I want to show you how to do is just download the Amazon app onto your iPad. And you go to the App Store to do that. Most of you probably know how to do that. But if you don't know how to use the App Store, I've got a video that I made on how to use the App Store. And I've included it in a link in the description below. So check that out if you need that extra help. But to get started, you simply go to the App Store, go into Search, type in Amazon, click Search. And here you'll see it. Now, I've already downloaded it one time before. That's why there's a little cloud with an arrow right there. But if you haven't downloaded it before, you'll see the word get beside it. So either way, just tap on that and let it download. And then once it's downloaded, you can click open. And really from here, you can just begin looking around the Amazon store and just see um, if you can find something you might be interested in. But it's really simple. That's how to download and install the app. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you how to do is how to actually set up an account on Amazon. If you're gonna buy something, you have to have an account. And let me show you how to set that up. So once you are in the Amazon app like this, you'll tap the little icon of a person right here, and you're gonna click on Create Account. And here you'll put in your name. And I'll click go. And now it says to verify your email, we've sent a one-time password to Rich at Begin Together. So now I'm gonna go get that password. I'm gonna go into my mail app, which I'm using Spark for. And here it is. And there's my one-time password or OTP. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna just hold it and then I'm gonna click copy. Then I'm gonna go back to my Amazon app. I'm gonna put that in there. Well, and I'm gonna click paste, and I'm gonna click create your Amazon account. And there, that's all there was to it. Now, I will tell you, sometimes, it, they'll want you to add a phone number, and if they do, they'll go through a process of sending a text to your phone or something like that, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Here, I've got it already set up, and that's how you set up your account on Amazon. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you how to do is how to search for something on Amazon. So, you just go to your main homepage right here, and you go up to the search bar, and you type in what you're looking for. I was looking for some Edison light bulbs the other day, so I'm gonna click on that. And here we have some. That looks like a pretty good price. And when you wanna read more about what you're looking for, you just tap on the icon and it takes you to there. 
and you can begin looking at it. And you can read the ratings too. If you'll notice, they've got uh, about four and a half stars. You can click on that and you can begin reading the reviews that come in. Here's somebody that didn't like it. It came apart. Quality in the box. Wonderful product. But you can read the reviews and see what people think. And you can search for really about anything on Amazon. Baseball cap. About baseball season. I'll check on that one. Red one like that. But that's essentially how you search. All you do is you just go up into the search bar, type in what you're searching for, hit the enter key, and there you go. That's how you search. And you can literally look for anything. There are millions of items on Amazon. So take your time and look around. Okay, the next thing I want to show you how to do is how to actually place an order. So we'll go back to the Edison light bulbs I was looking at right here. And you can add to cart by tapping that and they're going to ask you if you want some home protection plan. I'm a big no thanks on that so I'll say no thanks. And now you can proceed to checkout. And here you'll enter in all your shipping information. Here you'll put in your phone number and here you'll put in your street address where you want it to be delivered. And then you'll click on make this my default address and then you'll click use this address and now you're going to add a credit card or a debit card either one you want to enter tap on that and you can actually scan your card if you want to or you can put your information in put in the expiration date and click add your card. So just hit continue. Use this address and then tap on place your order. And that's it. And that's how you place an order. Now I'm going to show you how to cancel an order because I don't want that order. So I'm going to tap on the little thing here. I'm going to tap on orders. And you're going to see that it comes up again. And I'm going to cancel items. I tap on that and I'm going to click cancel checked items. And this order has been canceled. And that's really how you cancel an order. But the important thing you need to know is that you don't have a lot of time to do that. Once you place the order, Amazon immediately begins processing the order. And sometimes they can get it out within just a few hours. Uh, but usually you can always return an order. You have time to return it if you get it. But if you want to stop the order before it ever goes through, you need to catch it kind of quickly. So just keep that in mind when you place an order and then you decide right afterwards that you want to cancel it. But it's very simple. Again, you just go into um, your orders here like that and you'll see no orders found uh, because I've already canceled the order. But if it was if you'd placed an order, it would show up here, tap on it, cancel it. And that's all you got to do to cancel an order. Okay, the last thing I want to talk to you about is how to return an order. So, you know, when you go to the store, the old way, you'd actually get to pick something up and look at it and know whether you wanted to buy it um, up front. But with Amazon, you don't really get to do that until you've already paid for it, it's shipped, and it's in your hands. So let's imagine now that you've got something that you've ordered and you just decide that you don't want it anymore and you want to return it. So this is how you do that. You go to the Amazon app and you go here to orders and I'm going to view my orders and let's say that I want to return or replace the item. Here's a couple of Edison lamps I bought for my table so you can click on return or replace and you'll click on the item you want to return and then you have to choose a response no longer needed and then you can put in a comment if you want to and then you go down and click continue and you have a choice of returning the refund to your Amazon account or to the to the uh, debit or credit card you used in the in the process 
Um, if you return it to your Amazon account, it just goes back as a gift card and it's there for you to use for your next purchase. And they usually give you that almost immediately. Um, if it goes, if you want it to go back onto your debit or credit card, it may take a day or two for that to go through. You hit continue. And here you can choose where you want to drop it off. So you've got to take it somewhere to get it back to them. Typically, you can take it to a UPS store, you can take it to a Kohl's store, in my case, there's a Whole Foods drop-off, and sometimes you don't even need a box or a label. You can literally just take them just like that and take it back, and then you'll just tap confirm your return, and then um, Amazon will send you an email, and it'll have a barcode in that email, and you'll want to hang on to that email. So now you'll take the two lamps, you go back to Cole's store or to a UPS drop-off site. You'll set the two lamps up on the table and they'll ask to scan the barcode that was sent to you in the email and you'll have it on your on your iPhone. And you know that's how you return something. It seems kind of complicated the way I've walked you through this, I know, but don't let it intimidate you. It's, it's not really all that hard to do. Once you just get the hang of returning a thing or two, you'll start to get a comfort level with purchasing from Amazon. And I can only tell you from my own experience, Amazon has been really good with me. If I've had a problem and I needed to return something, they've always allowed me to return it. They've given me my money back very quickly. In some instances even, um, I've wanted to return an item I purchased and they've given me a credit back uh, to my debit card or onto my account and just said keep the item you don't even have to ship it back so it's amazing how well they work with their customers so don't be afraid of purchasing something from Amazon because it might you might have some difficulty returning it you will not I promise you that you know I know that's a lot of info to take in but once you get the hang of it shopping on Amazon is really easy if I went too fast, just go back and watch it again. I guarantee you'll find shopping on Amazon addictive, so be careful. Well, I hope this short tutorial helped you a little bit, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.